So this is how you install apps on your Apple Watch. First of all, you have the first option to do it directly through the Apple Watch. But in my personal opinion, it's not the best option and I don't really prefer it. I mean, you can still go ahead and unlock the watch, locate the App Store, use that tiny keyboard to search up for a specific app, you know, download it. But there are some things which I don't like about this because, of course, the small screen makes it a little bit slower than if you want to download an app. You need to have a passcode set up on the watch, which I do not have. And, you know, there are more things which I don't like about it. Instead, I prefer to use the iPhone, which is paired to my Apple Watch and essentially go to the App Store of my phone and download apps which have a dedicated version for the Apple Watch as well. Right, so if you just download this on the iPhone, it can also appear on the watch. You either have it set automatically, meaning that whenever you download an app on iPhone, which also has a version of the watch, that it will automatically appear on the actual Apple Watch, but you can also just choose it to be manual. This can be managed in the watch app, so when you open it up and get inside of the general section, you have the automatic app install, and it's just one toggle, and if you have it set to green, it means that the apps which have available version of the watch will automatically be installed there, but if not, they will appear at the bottom of your page, and that there is going to be the install button, so they will be available in here and you can choose which of them you want to show up on your Apple Watch. So that's kind of how it works. I like to or I prefer the second approach. So let me know below in the comments what you think about it. Hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe so you never miss another tutorial in the future. See you guys later.